Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's gonna be a choo choo train trip. Yes, we're gonna be boarding the messy train, honey. Because we got another reality TV star thinking she's all that. Got to bring a shady punch back out so they can get a couple of drinks in. So they can get some of my true serum. I'm getting ready to serve them up with. Yes, we're going to be going and talking about a celebrity by the name of Nene Leaks. Yes, Lord, she went on her Twitter account. She was hot firing, pissy mad. Because she feel that Andy Cohen is stopping her bag. Yes, Miss Nene Leaks. She went on her Twitter account today, hollering discrimination, retaliation, blacklisting, devalu devaluation, humiliation, etc. is real against black women. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, we make you want to shout. Come on now, shout. Come on now, shout. Hey, 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 hey. Nene is dumb. Nene is dumb. Girl, what are you talking about? Discrimination, racism has always been out there. When your mama was running, when her mama was running, and all the way back down the line to slavery, girl. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Everything that happened once happened before. Okay. You even said that Wendy Williams' husband stopped your bag. Because you were trying to get a talk show. That could have been true. Probably was true. But couldn't have been some of your mouth, Nene? Could it have been some of your bad behavior? Okay. On screen and off screen. Do you want to take accountability for any of your negative actions? And quiet as it's kept, loud as I'm going to speak it out. I believe you think you are white. I think you think you have privilege in this world. Okay? Just like you said, you said what you said. All that shit you said got you in trouble. Remember when you called yourself wanting to sue Bravo and Andy too? Calling him a racist. Then as time slid by, out the Greg had, Greg had passed and everything. Now you want to come back. Who in their right mind that has been dragged through social media as you did Andy and Bravo. Threatened to sue them. Brought in your own lawyer. Don't know if you just did that just for optics sake. You know just to see you did have someone you were putting on retainer for a little bit. To try to stir up a pot at the Bravo and get Andy in trouble. Look how that turned out for you. Did you get paid for all the commotion? You were kicking up in them streets, them YouTube streets, honey. And shout out to the Jasmine brand. Yes, yeah, shout out to the Jasmine brand. Y'all know who she is. Go on over there to her channel and light it up. And say, Dev Chanel sent you over there. Okay. But yes, Nene. Too little, too late. Okay. Bravo is under new management. Child. You trying to pull a Monique and Steve Harvey and Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey type of skit. Is that what you're doing? It's not working, Nene. You're not white. You don't have privilege. Even though you think you are in your mind. I really do think you're white. You think that you are white. And you have privilege. And you felt that you birthed this baby. Of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. This, that, and the third. And you remember when you had got on some heckler. At one of the comedy shows you were trying to do. You were hosting was really what you were doing. But they gave you some stage time to draw them up. Some kikis, he hees and all that. But Nina, you weren't funny. And when you made that joke about. You hope that Uber driver get raped and stuff. Candy them had to throw you off the tour. Because it had just got that heated. It's your mouth, Nene. It's your mouth. And your bad behavior. Now, I don't doubt that Bravo may have some inside scoops of their favoring one person over the next. But Kenya and Candy is over there, too. Cynthia was over there. 
they got their fair shake and candy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying about candy. I'm a conspiracy theory. She been tapped, okay? She's been the liked one. All right? She might start doing some strange things for some change, too. But she's pretty much already there doing the strange thing. But we don't ever know what her psycho- sacrificial thing may have to be. We'll keep, we'll keep in tune with that. But, Nene, maybe they wanted to tap you, but you just couldn't keep your mouth shut. And, you know, that's who you want to immortalize. You want to be immortalized. You want to be white. You want the blonde hair. You want your skin to be a little lighter. You could do a Michael Jackson and say you got vertigo and just bleach your skin till you can't bleach it no more. And then we'll see how that fares. But, yeah, you unhappy in the skin that you're in. And it's okay. We have those people like you. Just can't be happy. You won't be happy until you get it all. And that's what you pretty much did. You bit off the apple. You took the whole apple and bit it. And then swallowed it. And then started thinking that people owe you. Owe you favors. Owe you positions. Owe you this. Owe you that. And that's just not how it go, Nene. That's just not how it go. You cannot put people in the fire. And think they're going to come out unscathed. You th- pretty much. <laughs> when this man. When they get finished with you Nene. And you don't have any jobs. Yanni is not like Greg. Greg was there for you. Like four flat tires. Like Casper the Ghost and Friends. Charlie's Angels. Okay. Charlie Angels. Angels. The Three Musketeers. That's not what you have in y- Nayoni. Or whatever his name is. What you had in Greg. And Greg was always the peacemaker. Now I only ain't going to have. No breaking on no bread. And trying to fight your battles with you. Because he trying to come up himself. Didn't nobody really know about him. Until you brought him out. And to tell you. You're making a damn fool at yourself. Trying to spice him up. Trying to get him connections. And you can't even get your own self back. Into the entertainment business. Because you have been tainted. You have been cast out to dry. And it has little or nothing to do with Andy. You did all this to yourself. You blasted Andy so bad. We thought you had something else going on with another network. Because we didn't think Andy would ever be in the forgiving mood of how you call him a racist. How you tried to shut uh, Bravo down. Put them under the microscope of being a racist entity. Discriminating against all women of color. This, that, and the third. We see you, Nene. You ran that race. You lost. Okay? Because if anything were to have come out of it, why didn't you sue when you had the opportunity? When you had these uh, arsenals in your bag that you was ready to throw out. You know how they say a lot loaded and ready to spray? Well, your gun was empty and it was shooting blanks. What What's going on with that? We got to be messy on you because you're, again, being messy out in the public. And whatever Nene don't get, Nene started hollering. She started taking to her social media. She started posting things on her Instagram or making YouTube videos or going on Twitter. I mean, it's not necessary. It speaks for itself. You don't have to uh, let us all know because, in a sense, we could care less. Because, again, Candy getting her her, uh, her roll on. How do they say? Get your roll on. Get your roll on. Everybody get your roll on. That's what Candy doing. She rolling up and down these Atlanta streets. New York streets. All the streets that you used to run up. She's running down them. And everybody is clapping for her. But for you and Portia, y'all are pretty much has-beens. And need to go on over to the Zeus Network and solidify yourselves. Or you and her, meaning you and Portia, may be waiting for Carlos King to come save you. Is he supposed to be your savior? Starting out his, uh, on making y'all come over to own network? Well, Nene, if you don't kind of tone yourself down and disappear for a while until that trans... Uh, until it comes to fruition that, that that is a team you can play on because they're not going to put up with your antics either I'm pretty sure every network is scared to touch you because they don't know if you get don't get what you want or you don't um, like the rate that they're paying you for your so called 
skills or whatever because they're not acting. And whatever happened to you going to California seeking that uh, acting coach teaching you how to act, not react and, and act a fool out in these damn streets. We talking about to act. So you can be in films and televisions, uh, on television where you have to read off a script, memorize your lines and this, that, and the third. Sort of what you were doing over there in Glee. And you were kind of making a hot mess out of that too. I don't know how many takes they had to go to get your scene correctly or correct. But it's, t it's almost like taking responsibility, taking accountability for your actions. Because you did get the big head. I don't know who told you that you were promised this, that, and the third, but they fell through. They didn't come through with the come through for you. So you kicking up dust and you trying to throw salt on Candace's name, trying to bring her down, trying to say all these negative things about her. She just continues to keep soaring. And Andy ain't staying you no more. He ain't got no love for you because you blasted him out in social media. And on all platforms you could possibly be on. You even said Wendy legs was messed up. She need to go uh, tame her legs. Get the sweating out of her legs. You were, you know, acting up with her. I mean, you say things that are very hurtful and degrading and dehumanizing. And then when that same token is shaded back at you. And you're the a target. You can't handle it. You want everybody from every walks of life to come out and save you. And it's like, no, you put yourself in that bed. You made your bed. Now you must lie in it. And with you constantly coming out, telling the world, telling the masses, telling social media, going on different platforms like The Real, The View, any platform that would have you on there. You're trying to say negative things about another neg negative or another network you're saying negative things about you about them so that means if you go over to another team like oh they don't do what they supposed to do then you're going to act the same way that you did at bravo you're going to try to blast everything out in the open instead of handling behind closed doors and hopefully it works itself out and then if it's like they don't want you no more you got to accept it they don't want you no more they don't have to keep you that's on any regular job, professional job you may have. If you didn't choose the industry of the entertainment business and you had to go uh, and work for an employer doing whatever, you got to subject yourself to their rules, their values, their mission statement. You got to uphold that particular company's values core values and then if you don't they're going to show you the door and that's pretty much what bravo did to you when you try to make yourself be more or make yourself be seen more than what it was i mean it's like you took on another whole personality you was telling these people that created the show that you were the one you were the mastermind like kim zoziak didn't play a part sheree whitfield didn't play a part uh, Lisa Wu didn't pair apart. It was just I, 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 me, 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 me. I did this, 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 this. You know? And that's very, very sad. That you would come up with all of this. And then you want people to come in and swoop down. And go talk to your employer. And boycott and this, that, and the third. Because they're not doing black women right. Well, it seems to, it seems to me. That they are definitely doing candy right. They're doing Kenya right. And before Cynthia had to leave abruptly. Because they were letting her go. Because she really brought nothing to the show. Um, she didn't have anything bad to say about Bravo. She was still doing out there making press for them. So they could bring her back in another capacity if they want to. But you think they're going to bring you back? And if any other network see or hear your name coming up as a potential employee... They're going to shut it down because they don't need all that negativity. And my suggestion for you is you need to go work on your Lanethia Lounge. And I don't know. I don't know what you could do to really make that very, very successful. And it would be a lucrative income revenue stream for you. But, uh, I mean, maybe you need to invest in some sheets or something or some, a jewelry line 
something because I, what are you doing out there you've been on real housewives of atlanta for x amount of years what is your claim to fame what is your statement what is your legacy you're trying to leave a nightclub that's that's all you got you know you don't you didn't brought uh you didn't go out there and purchase any real estate investments you know turning flipping houses or whatnot what are you doing with your money girl is it all tied i mean you did have swag had your little clothing boutiques and stuff that went under okay and if you're not really sure and aware of what you're doing in your business lanithia will go under too so i don't know nene I'm keep telling y'all to go on over there to the Zeus Network. They will want you. At least you can start over there. Start over. Build your brand. And then once that ends with whatever you got set up. If you ever go to Zeus Networks. Then maybe you can come back. And they'll show that you have settled down. But it probably still won't be the cream of the crop. You'll just probably be getting extra work that nobody else really wants. Almost like you're starting off in the industry and they don't know what you bring to the table. Because it just amazes me how you think you are the it factor. When anybody, given a chance, if they wanted to act ratchet, they wanted to be degraded, they wanted to be seen uh, as a loud mouth. Because that's all Real Housewives of Atlanta really is about. They don't do the other franchises like that, but they expect... The Real Housewives of Atlanta to act as ghetto, as outlandish, uh, despicable, anything, anything that's ratchet. They want it on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay? Because right now, I bet you, Drew Sidora looking ugly over there. Sheree probably done got into it with Marlo. They done said a lot of unscrupulous things. And, you know, because Candace said she had got into it. She came apologizing before we even see the scenes that she's probably talking about. She had to get into it with somebody. So, I mean, that's what you want to be. See, any woman can play your part, Nene. Because you weren't doing it now. You weren't doing no acting on that show. Real Housewives of Atlanta ain't acting. It's scripted to whatever mess y'all want to show us. And half the time it's getting in physical. And, I mean, it's already enough to be talking verbal smack. But when you want to put your hands on somebody, you know, it's, it's an issue. Same thing with Portia. Y'all y'all got that bad things going on. You around there snatching cameramen, t-shirts, punching out their lights and taking their teeth out. And, you know, you probably had to pay for all of that at your paycheck. Because Bravo said they ain't paying for no, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> uh, what do you call that when combative pay? They, they, ain't get, they ain't finna go, be, you don't supposed to be touching the cameraman or women. You don't supposed to be messing with production. So they ain't paying them no combat pay. But you and Portia be acting like y'all on the wrestling federation. Okay. Like y'all in a ring somewhere. And y'all got to handle people. I mean, verbalness is already bad. But when you take it to the next level, that's an assault charge. Fuck one in jail. Then they going to get a, uh, what do you call it? A record. Mm-mm. You can't even go probably work for Walmart, girl. So I don't know what to tell you, Nene, but I know you need to settle down. You need to settle down because ain't nobody listening to you. Ain't nobody in your corner that has the opportunity to still work in hollywood or hollywood they ain't trying to risk nothing trying to take up for your plight or your cause because that would be the same thing if somebody else was in trouble and they reached out to you would you be down for them would you be able, be able to risk or would you want to risk your livelihood for that person because in the name of justice, you're trying to do what's right for all black women. Is that what you want us to believe, Nene? Is that what you want us to believe, girl? No, we see straight through you. We are being very transparent, even though you're not. 
You always have an, an extra game as long as Nene's on top. You going to do what you want to do. You're going to say what you want to say. And you're going to be like, F whoever. Because we watched you on live TV. TMZ love to catch you in action. You were out there first and went. Everyday folks, everyday hardworking people wanting to come up to you, get an autograph, get a selfie, whatever. And we didn't even, I don't think COVID was out at that time where you were strolling out here, getting on folks' nerves and telling them to get away from you or you ignore and them slapping down um, regular individuals' phones because they taping you. You know, I'm like, Nene. Girl, get you a bodyguard if you feel that threatened and you don't want nobody to come up to you. Always travel with two men that's big, brusque, and burly. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we ain't coming. We, that's okay. We'll just wave to you from afar. But you don't even recognize those people, Nene. You have so much hate in your heart. Or when you think you go out, you're supposed to not be disturbed. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know who told you. You have a life anymore. When you become a part of the reality world, celebrity world, entertainment, when people see you and they feel like they like you, they're going to address you. And if you don't play the, the part that you need to play, which is smile, take a picture, get an autograph, you're going to be history. You're going to be unliked. You're not going to be a household name anymore because it's going to be staple to you that you're trouble. And you're mean-spirited, and you don't really care about your fans. So you don't care about some of your fans. And you can't do that. Once you sign up, put your name on a dotted line, and you're uh, out here in the uh, movie industry or entertainment industry or musical uh, music industry, they expect you to have a certain rapport with your followers. And you don't like it. If it ain't somebody you already know that's in the business and well up there, you don't know nobody else. And that's that's piss poor for any human being to do another human being like that. Because once you get into that field of the entertainment world, you become in that fishbowl type of living. Where your life is not your life when you step out. You got to come out correctly. You got to look the part. You got to act the part. You got to dress the part. Because somebody's going to be filming you. They're going to recognize who you are. And they're going to watch your comings and goings for that day. And if they can use the video clips or camera snapshots or whatnot, they're going to sell them. And they're going to make money off you. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I just had to address Nene talking about she being blackballed and she want people to help her out. I'm like, girl, ain't you that boy who cried wolf? You did that shit before. And then nobody come to your 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 help or your aid. And then you didn't do any type of legal action against them. So that made me wonder and made me think you don't have nothing on them. All these receipts, all of this, you know, hidden stuff. All of this, you got it, you know, on paper. But yet, nothing had resolved itself. And Greg was still living at that time. So, you didn't have what you said you have. They called your bluff. Now, they could just play with you in social media and still not recognize you. You know how Andy did? Well, he didn't put your name in his mouth. And he meant that shit. Okay? So, you even was making a mockery out of him. Before you called him a racist, you were saying that you had paid for his baby's uh shower you had bought him this that, that just telling all and the business of what you did for him like he couldn't have did it for himself or even better i mean what did the other women do that was at his baby shower did they not participate did they not buy anything did they not contribute we would never know because they didn't say nothing and that's how it is supposed to be kept. You don't supposed to be no siren out there hooping and hollering and saying what you did for this person all the time. You do it all the time. You did it with candy. You did it with the girls trying to buy you a floral arrangement. Talking about not all of them. They just bought one flower. I mean, you're just ungrateful. And people do not really forget the ungratefulness that a person shows them. Because it's part of their character. And honey, you lack character. That's 
So I don't know what to say about y'all. I don't think we just keep you in prayer. Maybe you can get a job at Walmart or you can go on and um do what you need to do with your little Nithia, um club or lounge or however you call it. You need to be invested on bringing a lot of celebrities here and marketing yourself, you know, towards just it being a socialite for the who's who. You know, maybe you need to turn it into something like that. But you're going to have to get on the grind. You're going to have to market yourself and stop making yourself look like nobody wants to deal with you. Like you're a hard cookie to crack or something. Because you think that Naomi man going to be with you. Girl, he on the deal to uh, leech off you and get some of your contacts that he may think you have. But that's it, honey. Because if he wanted to be with you, he would have got rid of his wife too. Did the uh, professional thing, got divorced, and started dating you. But we've seen you on social media. That man don't look like he in, into you. Child, when y'all was on the real, I think it was the real. It was a, yeah, it was the real one of you. When at the end of the show, he was leaning more to the stars of that, that particular show than you. It's like y'all was sitting up there like brother and sister. Or y'all just both up there as, um, what do you call it, a uh, host or whatnot. But he wasn't all into you. He wasn't trying to hug you. All that that niceness and, and loving type of feel that Greg showed you. And you could tell in the pictures and stuff. Uh-uh. Naomi, that's a, that's a totally different scene there. That's a totally different situation. And it's working for him, not for you, Nene. So don't get your eyes too set on him thinking he's Mr. Right because he's not. <laughs> he Mr. Right for right now. But he ain't your right forever. You know, to the Lord call y'all home or whatnot. But child, y'all get down and come and tell me what y'all think about Nene going out blasting and again thinking he has all the power in the world. And it ain't not, And it's just like the president. He's a spokesperson. But Congress is the real shit that, that be all uh, running stuff. Okay. They could veto the president if they wanted to. And it's just that spokesperson, that head. to just go out there and represent the company and follow the laws that were written uh, for his role. Don't super exceed it and don't make promises your ass can't cash. Okay. And that's pretty much how he sits on his throne. And you trying to go for... You need to go for the head of the snake, which is Congress, which is true original. The real heavy hitters. Don't go for Andy because he's just a token. All right. But we don't see you doing any of that either. All right. Because you blame Wendy Husband for 86 and a talk show. Because I'm like, okay, if you had a talk show, Nene, what would you talk about? Would you be emulating Wendy Williams? Because we don't have enough of her. We know she's the gossip queen. She's going to go down in history. Okay. But you're not her. And she not you. So who would you get to come on your show? Who would they book for you that you hadn't got into it? Would it be a total all white cast or something? You trying to be Oprah now girl? But anyway, y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about Nene coming out on all her social media platforms saying she's been blackballed. She's been blacklisted. She can't get any decent work because Andy Cohen sitting up there blocking her way, telling people on the down low, uh, you don't want to mess with her. She's very difficult. And then she'll start spreading lies on you. Do you really think he got that kind of power, Nene? Or have you don't show everybody what you are really made of and how you get down when you can't get what you want. Or you can't get what somebody promised you. Because, Lord, if it ain't written on paper, it's a verbal conversation that could have been had, that could have been stated and heard. Or it could not have been. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like hearsay. So, if you didn't get all your promises and things that they were supposed to do for you in writing, well, you could take it to your lawyer and say, they reneged. They didn't give me this. They said on this time they would give me this, that, and the third. Then you have a case. And it could be definitely handled out of out of the social media world. Where it, you have to keep your mouth closed of this disclosing of what was being taken care of for you you wouldn't be able to speak on it you see what i'm saying but evidently like i said you didn't have that type of information that could have gotten you to that next step 
And you definitely like not Monique. Monique know how to act. And she's funny. And you're neither one of those, Nene. So I'm like, what? Well, you just have your rotten personality. And, and, and that's pretty much how it is right now. You were a fan favorite until you started getting a big head. And you felt you wanted to leave and go pursue all what Hollywood or Hollyweird wanted to provide for you. And then when you got up there, you got a little work here and there. And then they canceled shows that you were supposed to be on. Then you had to hightail it back here to Atlanta looking for a reprieve. And Cynthia was your door back in. But then you start wanting to stay. You own this. You made this. Uh, Roar wouldn't be anything if you didn't start it. It's your baby. This, that, no, 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 no. The people that come up with the money to produce the shows, they are the ones that birthed that idea. It may have come to you, but they birthed it. They put it out there for the masses to view. And they hired people that they thought would give them what they needed to make the show a success. And you happen to have fallen, fallen in that category. But you got too much going on with the I, 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 me, me, me. You're not a team player. And that's what these um, shows need. They need teamwork. They need everybody to take a part and make it wonderful. Okay? Because you're not going to forget about the people that had to put up the money first and foremost. They're going to definitely get they could. Then they're going to honor what they said they were going to pay you. But when you start trying to negotiate above your means... And above your talents and skills, that's when the problem rolls, rolls around, Nene. That's when the problem starts to roll around. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Got something you can take away from it that you can put in your everyday lives when you're moving out here in your own job careers. No how far to go before you be done went on out that dough if you get my drill all right and i'll see y'all next video bye bye